Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna, also known as the Keto in Canada. And if you want, you can follow along on Instagram at Keto in Canada for daily pictures and updates, videos, all that sort of fun thing. I have started a new goal since my last sad video. Um, a goal that has nothing to do with numbers and more so just what I can do with my body now that I've lost weight and I'm getting stronger, super exciting. And this is kind of an awkward position, but anyways. And I would like to press into a handstand if you don't know what that is. It's kind of like where you go into a handstand without kicking into one. You just use your body weight and you go into a handstand. So I am working towards that and I thought I would share with you sort of the daily work that I'm doing in um, attempts to reach that goal. I am setting a date on this. I would like to be able to press into a handstand by my birthday, which is May 29th, 2019. Uh, we'll be turning 35 years old, so I just thought it was a good goal. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've actually hired someone to work with me on figuring out, yeah, figuring out how to do this. So if you think that stuff, what I'm doing is wrong, please do not tell me. I don't care. Like, I'm just doing my thing here. You can watch it. You can enjoy it. Just leave it be. I'm a beginner, and sometimes this sort of stuff isn't, you know, doesn't look right off the bat. And it's not right, because I don't have someone here watching me 24-7, but I will do my best, and I am going to kick some ass. So if you want to maybe set the same goals or are interested in learning about this, you can follow along and I will provide you guys with updates on uh, if I'm getting closer to reaching my goal. It is very, very difficult to do this. So I will be super pumped if I can achieve this goal. All right, let's go. When you go into an overhead press, you have to be able to go into this position with your arms. It's called planche and it's hard. So you have to warm up your wrists, according to my helper, Erin, who's helping me. Um, she also pointed out that your big, your big knuckle here works like your big toe on your foot. So you have to focus on gripping the floor and using your hands like they are your feet. My cat has scratched up this yoga mat. It's just a cheap mat from Winners. But anyway, so you do that to help warm up the wrists and then you flip them around. And I'm forgetting some of the stuff she told me to do. I already know. And you pull back, you stretch out your wrists. Ooh, ouchie. I think she also made me do arm workouts. So you put your hands straight Hold on, like this, right? And then you go like this with your elbows. Because you want your, your arms actually to be like that. And it's like rotating from your shoulders. There is definitely stuff I'm forgetting. Is my boob hanging out of this? Just deal with it. No perfect bodies here, only perfect people. Okay, so I do that a bunch of times. And then there's something I'm supposed to do with like my wrists. It's like you, you put your hands like this and you put them together and then you go like up and down. Ooh. It hurts, so I'm probably doing something right. Um, I think it's all for like strengthening your wrists and bringing more flexibility to that area of your body. Now, the next thing I have to do is wrist push-ups. So we'll do this, and you keep basically your your hands on the ground. Can you see? This is the closest. You go like this. But you have to keep all your knuckles on the ground and your weight over above and you go like that. Yeah. 
that was 10. And I'm just gonna do a little stretchy. My armpits are a little bit hairy right now. So if you notice that, don't say anything. I already know, I'm fully aware. So then you gotta do that again. This thing, um, this time I'm just gonna do it till I burn out my forearms, which doesn't take too long. You're supposed to go faster and harder. When I do this, I notice that my um, arms start to get very vascular, like the veins start to pop out in my arms, which is okay. I'm all about that. Ouch. Yeah, so it's like starting to burn in my forearms just from this simple exercise, but it is important. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep going. Um, okay, I'm just gonna stretch that out. I'm trying to think what comes next. Oh, so I have to do like a downward dog, but it's like a push up. So um, you go into a downward dog and then you bring your feet up a little bit closer. I should just show you instead of describing it, right? Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but let's see. Okay, so downward dog, right? You want to be strong. You want to open up your shoulders so that your elbows aren't like pinching and strong hands and then you step up a little bit closer and then you want to do push-ups so it's like this it's a little bit awkward i don't even know if i'm doing it right So you do 10. See, I already feel like my arms are starting to get really tight. Um, you do 10 of those, and you take a little break, and then you do 10, and then you do 10 again. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have to, well, I'm trying not to focus on the scale that I weighed in today for my diet bat, and I was up. I was up a lot today more so than I've been since I lost all my weight. So I don't know if it's just because this was a very stressful week, but I guess it's good because it's a diet bet and it's my like initial weigh in. Just means there's lots of room to go down. So back up into the downward dog. Make sure my hands are right. Step a little forward so my butt is higher. And then maybe That's hard. Can you even tell my arms? No, they look normal. They look normal. <laughs> uh, it's hard to do. Those push-ups are really, really hard to do. You might want to stretch out your arms if you're doing that. Itchy. Is this fun? Is this fun to watch? I hope so. I gotta do the push-ups one more time. So this will be my seventh time doing this workout. Wait, sixth time. I didn't really do it yesterday, so. Yeah. Where did I? Did I do it yesterday? No, I didn't, I missed one day. I wanna do it every day, so. I guess six out of seven days is pretty good to start. Okay, I'm gonna do those push-ups one more time. And Yeah. 
hard. That is really hard. Um, okay. So then there's a really weird thing I have to do. It's called no jelly belly. And you're supposed to use four foam blocks. I don't have any foam blocks and I haven't gone to the store to get them. So I have a foam roller and a popcorn box that my kids eat popcorn that I got from Costco. So you basically, you balance your body across. I'll show you. Okay. Here is my popcorn box. I'm gonna lay that on the ground like that. foam roller. So you basically position your body with your upper arms on the foam roller, like right there. And your lower arms on the popcorn box. You can find your popcorn boxes at your local Costco. Alright, so essentially you want to start out down. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe I should twist this off. Okay, there you go. Kind of. You can kind of see the underneath of my couch is really dusty right now, so don't judge me. Anyway, so you start out like this. What were you going to shout about? Okay, so the arms are here and the legs are there and your chest is down. And then you basically breathe in and out and then you hold up for 10 seconds and you raise your body off. This gives you the straight line for the handstand, so I'm going to breathe in and do it. I can actually do this for longer than 10 seconds, so I'm just going to hold it as long as I can. You tighten your whole body, like every muscle in your body you tighten. Wow. And then relax. Oh, that hurts my, my thighs. And I find that holding the Pulling my arms down helps because it's a lot of pressure on the back of your arms when you do this, so I'm going to do it again. 10 seconds. Oh, okay. My body is starting to shake. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to do it again for 10 seconds. This is a really long video. I don't think this will even upload to YouTube probably. Done. No more Jelly Belly. Finished. Put the popcorn box away. Alright, so something else you have to do is obviously you have to get insanely flexible. This is now getting very bright. Okay, so you have to get flexible. So you want to do like a straddle stretch here where you are leaning forward you're straight back you can point your toes or straighten them whatever and then you lean forward this is as flexible as i am right now i hope to do a video like in six months time where i am like crazy flexible but we'll see so you lean forward and you say like ow 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 that really hurts right which this does, and you want to hold it for quite a while. I find myself like even doing this part at nighttime, just sitting in front of the TV because it's easier. Like you can hold it for quite a while. And then I go to like one of my feet and then I will try to just pull myself in a bit more 
on each side just to make it um, a little bit of a deeper stretch. I can really feel this in the back of my hamstrings, like really bad. And then do the other side. And like I ran out of things to say at this point. <laughs> Um, yeah, so then maybe I can go a little deeper now. And then you want to do straight feet. And then go down. Now, I am, like, much more flexible in this direction. But you, in order to do a press to handstand, you basically have to be able to lay your body against your legs. So, I actually already feel a lot more flexible. Ooh. Can you guys touch your toes? Tell me in the description down below. <laughs> um, so yeah, you stretch your ouch, ouch. God, this is a lot. But like this type of working out or this type of fitness or energy, like fitness goal, um, it's nice because it's not so strenuous. Like you're not having to like go do crazy stuff, but it is about strength. So everything I've been doing with Nate totally complements everything I'm doing here. And I don't think that I would be, uh, I don't think I would be able to complete this goal in six months had I not been like working on my overall fitness and strength, especially in my upper body. Um, yeah, so I can't lay down yet, but I'm doing my best. So the next thing you have to do is these one-legged things. I know this looks really good, but you know what? That's just my body. So, um, you lift one of your legs like 10 times. So you hold, you kind of brace yourself and go up this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's hard. And then you do the other side. I got a cramp the other day doing this. So, uh, okay, so you did each leg and that feels tight, so I'm just going to kind of butterfly it out here. And then you want to do a double leg. Um, movement here. So you go like this and you want to do both legs at one time. Mine feels super tight right now, but um, yeah, so you go. I already feel like I'm going to, don't mind me. I feel like I'm really tight in my hip. So I just kind of do a movement until it feels a little bit better, but so you go like this and then you lift up both, both feet. <laughs> God, that hurts. This is not easy. <laughs> um, one, two, three. Ow! Bad your mother. Five. Okay. All right. So that is ten of those. And next up, I have to do across the floor work. You gotta put on your big fluffy socks. So I'm gonna go do that. And I didn't really wanna stop this video though. I just wanted to kind of do it. So where did I put my big fluffy? What's the cat doing back there? Has she been doing that this whole time? Hi, little sweetie. He's just waiting. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, socks. Oh, here are my fluffy socks. So you put on the fluffy socks because you want to slide across a hard floor. If you don't have a hard floor, I guess you could get carpet sliders or something like that. But anyways, so you put on these socks and just like this. And um, I gotta go across the floor. How am I gonna show you this? Maybe I'll just do it this way. Roll up your mat. And so the first thing you want to do 
is this weird curling move. So you go like this, and you go like this. Can you see this? Probably just like that. And you bring your knees in. I'll turn around to show you this way coming back. But you, shh. Aaron makes sound effects, so why not? You're gonna suck in your core and then put your legs out and then pull them in. I don't know if this is really showing it very well, but like that. And then you have to go the opposite way. So out and back and back. This hurts your knees really bad. At least it hurts mine really bad. Turn around and out, out. And out. Okay, the next thing you have to do is lifting yourself up. So you go like this, then you put your feet forward. Turn myself around, show you, lift yourself up, and kick forward. Like that. And then you have to go backwards. So you go like this, and you make a hard smushing sound with your body as you smack your ass on the ground. Which, which are extremely difficult. Um, I don't have parallels because I'm just starting, but I use these chairs, if you can see them. This is a great, like, I should have just done this as a live video. Mm -hmm. I could have just been live and along. So I take these two bar stools. And I'll place my hands on there. You're supposed to hold for 10 seconds or as long as you can. Here's my problem. Is she wants me to like do this and hold my feet straight out in front of me. This is too hard for me. Um, so sometimes I hold one leg up or not. So what you want to do is you press down. And this is my attempt. Okay, it's too hard. But I'll hold one and let the other one stretch out and then switch obviously extremely difficult <laughs> okay so then you just shake her out it's hard work it's a quiet Sunday my kids are playing on their iPads. Sunday is iPad day. Um, okay, so you do that lift and you wanna do it about three times. But I'm gonna rotate into this one. So this one, you wanna curl your knees up into your body as much as you can and hold yourself. Can you see how red my face is? Is it turning red? This is hard work. It's not easy. Um, 
and I want to try and breeze through this so I will start the next round. Peace out for a second. I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna do my curl. <sighs> like, okay, I'm gonna edit that. You probably wanna do that another round, but for the sake of this video, and my hands are hurting, let's just leave it at that. I'm gonna throw these away. And I'll do it again later, just because I don't want to cheat myself, but God, it's hard. So I think the only thing left that I've been doing, unless I'm forgetting something, which I probably am, um, is doing this wall stand. So um, I'll kind of show you, whoa. I'll kind of show you. Maybe I'll put this right here. Okay. Take the socks off, the fluffy socks. You don't need those anymore. This. And what you want to do, my kitchen is a mess, so I'm just trying to avoid you seeing the mess of my kitchen. <laughs> is you take your mat and you lay it against a wall, like so. And what you're doing with this workout is this floor needs to be washed too. Oh, it's dust. I'm gonna sleep. Okay, this is a real bad angle. So let's just do a little moving. There we go. Okay. There's Steve. So, you wanna say hi? I'm just, well, I'm recording video live, basically. Um, this is a really bad angle, too. Can you move the camera for me a little bit? Sure. I just want it to be less stairs, more me, less messy kitchen, like, trying to find a good, no, 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 turn. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, that'll do. All right, so the reason you sit up against the wall is you want to know how far apart away your hand should go on the mat. So once you place your hands out, I actually saw a YouTube video too that you can raise your wrist and it will tell you kind of where your feet should be. So for me, it's this light, light switch. And so what you do is you lean forward. Now I know where my hands are supposed to go. And the reason you do this is you're getting strength. You're also getting your arms in the right stacked position. So you want to have like wrist, elbow, shoulder, all in, the, in a row. My problem right now, has been that I've been a little bit leaning. Um, so I don't know how this one's gonna go, but we'll see. So you walk your legs up the wall, which is easier said than done, it's hard. And then you create an L shape with your body. So I will show you. The goal is to do this for 30 seconds. So I haven't been able to do that yet, but maybe right now is my time. It's really hard. Okay, so your feet go up. You find your position, you push the floor like a mother, and fudge, this is hard as hell. Okay, that's all I can do. I don't know how long that was, but basically, 
You do that workout and you do it three times. You want to hold it, so I'm going to do it another two times, but you guys don't have to watch me because it's not going to get any better than that one. <laughs> so maybe you want to try a quest for the press and do these workouts along with me. Maybe not. It's kind of, I feel like most people could care less if they could press up into a handstand. But for me, I've always, it's always been something I admire in other people, so I thought, why not? I could do that. And um, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.